पॉलिटिकल थ्रिलर ट्यूजडे ओपन इलेक्शन सीजन क्लैश ऑफ पॉलिटिकल कॉन्क्लेव एंड अ न्यू फॉर्म्यूलेशन opposition unites under the banner of india while nda is reactivated 26 opposition parties versus 38 nda participants leading up to the big fight of 2024 india versus nda challenges for both will bjp be more inclusive of its junior partners can india set aside internal differences india versus nda it's game on One welcome viewers you're watching to the point I'm Preeti Chaudhary whatever it has made the developments of the last 12 hours well it's made the election season very very interesting what we are going to be looking at viewers is NDA versus India both of them come with their own set of problems but for the NDA one thing is very clear they have a leader and that leader is Narendra Modi where India is concerned uh, in terms of who is the face of India nobody quite understands or knows that yet uh, India the alliance says it's for later these are small things will be sorted out uh, let's uh, quickly cut across to our political panel this evening joining me is tom badakan national spokesperson bharatiya janata party adil singh bhoparoy spokesperson congress priyanka kakkar spokesperson aam aadmi party saket gokhale tmc mp rajya sabha um, adil singh bhoparoy the fact is uh, lots of uh, you know uh, political commentary rife today especially where the meet was concerned in bengaluru but lots of questions still remain to be asked who is going to be leading this alliance india what about seat distribution what goes on from here on in terms of uh, your own internal party dynamics when it comes down to it because there are a lot of parties which are not on the same page if you go region by region state by state Well, Preeti, good evening. Firstly, the four pillars of our body politic, which are secular democracy, economic sovereignty, social justice, and federalism, are under threat. So, therefore, keeping that in mind, 26 progressive parties have come together to defeat the megalomania, the injustice, the hatred, and the divisiveness which has been peddled by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Point number one. Point number two. Responding to your question, this is the second meeting. it is still a drawing board as far as who would lead the indian alliance is concerned the parties will take an appropriate call when the when we cross the bridge so therefore these are premature issues the fact of the matter is that 26 parties have come together for a common minimum program and that common minimum program focuses on saving our democratic soul over the past 9 years and i think uh, there's no gain saying in this that the bharatiya janata party has destroyed everything for which this country stands on our federal structure how the offices of the governor and the lieutenant governor have been utilized to promote bjp's political okay. machinery how how uh, how the situation in manipur is not hidden from anybody i think perhaps this must be the first time that the prime minister of this country has not uttered a word on an integral part of india where there have been ethno ethnic clashes which have been going on for over 60 days okay right price is breaking the back of an ordinary citizen so therefore these are the issues individual doesn't matter preeti okay And individual doesn't like matter tom wadakan this morning the prime minister did set matter. the agenda somewhere leading up to both uh, these conclaves be it the nda or be it uh, now what is termed as india but having said that you know you speak of uh, a corrupt alliance you speak of it being an alliance which is run by dynasts but having said that tom wadakan you know if you take a look at your own alliance which is your like the resurrection of your nda ljp jjp uh, ajit pawar ncp uh, apna dal uh, even if you are going to go ahead with the likes of tdp or even the akalis they're all dynasts in their own a fortnight ago ajit pawar is being criticized as corrupt he's in your fold uh, a year ago 
less than a year ago, UP went to election. You, sir, know very well the kind of language Mr. O.P. Rajbhar used for your own lot, your own prime, like our own prime minister, yet he's in the fold. Preeti, let's get uh, straight on this issue. First, you talked about the dynasty. Then you talked about the corruption. This is phase one. Uh, let me make it very clear and categorical that the NDA, you can check with the CBI, you can check with the ED. No investigation has been stopped. It's an ongoing process. Whatever is there, it is being investigated. Now, if you don't like it, it's a different matter. I'm talking about an institution called CBI or ED. This has been a tradition with these institutions, whether Congress was in power or the NDA was in power. Let me set that record straight. As to the question of dynast, what is the definition of a dynast when you have a number two position ready to take over? It is not about your family members getting a ticket. This is about a number two coming and taking grafting power of a political party, whether it is but Mr. Tom what happened with the JJP? What happened with the NJP? What happened with Apna Dal? These are all dinner parties, sir. Let me complete. Please. You may have an, a, a different view of a dynasty. It's not a but view. You, this is Sonia what it Gandhi is. These are the parties which are dynastic ready. parties. Power has to pre ready. This is grafting. When a person in your organization knows that he cannot be on the top job, then what kind of a party or company are you running? Merit basis is the question. And when merit is, uh, is diluted, you have a situation where the dynast and the corrupt will come together and they will set up a factory it, okay. for corruption. But Mr. Wadikar, and you know, like I said, I just counted three parties which are abject dynastic parties. I'll corruption. ask you another question, sir, as I bring in uh, Priyanka Kakkar and Saket Gokhale from the Aam Aadmi Party and the TMC. Asad Ansari, son of Mukhtar Ansari, is now an NDA MLA, sir. Lots of criminal cases against him convicted as well in the past. Will action be taken against him or now will there be a standstill on what are the cases against him? Pretty, let me tell you, this is a mindset that has been created. Every person accused of any charge will face the music. This okay. is Modi ji's government. He will not spare anybody. The point here is that case may take time because okay. there are lawyers like you are in your panel who are here who do all the business of how to procrastinate an investigation, take it to the court and create problems. But believe me okay. you, if Modi ji is around, he okay. will ensure Saki, Gokhale, I want to that bring the you in, person but, okay. will be punished. Tom Vadakan, the other question I'm going to come back to and ask you, out of your 38 political parties, you and I both know, sir, how many of them have zero MLAs or MPs. What is it that they really bring to the fold, other than a numeric number which adds up to 38? We're going to come down to that. But Saket Gokhale, till now the TMC has been very clear, equal stakeholdership. Increasingly, what it looks like is that the Congress is becoming the pivot of opposition unity. Acceptable to the TMC, Mr. Gokhale? Look again, th these are all media speculations about who is becoming the pivot, who is not becoming the pivot. I mean, as far as we are concerned, this is parties, you know, before the, after the Patna summit, we were asked questions about how are you going to see parties? Some of them are not seeing eye to eye coming on the same page. This time around, we saw the Congress party going out in public and saying that they will oppose the Delhi ordinance in the Rajya Sabha, which was a demand of the Ahmadmi Party, the Ahmadmi Party has attended the opposition meeting. The point remains that these are things that happen. Opposition parties are finding common ground, have found common ground, have come together. Everyone is willing to make concessions. Everyone is willing to build consensus. Everyone is willing to find a common ground and have a common minimum program. Now, these attacks such as you know, dynastic parties and corrupt parties and this and that. I'm very proud to say that I got elected to the Rajya Sabha yesterday on my merit. I'm not, I don't belong to any political dynasty. However, on the other side, every corrupt person that exists today is taken to the BJP, given money to topple a government and then they are sent to the Rajya Sabha, given ministerial positions, be it Ajit Pawar, be it Ekna Chinde, be it any of that. So when the BJP spokesperson says that, people will have to face the music under Mr. Modi, what he means is that Mr. Modi will send the CBI, he will break down their party and he will get them into his own party. The other problem with this joke 
of 38 parties getting together in the NDA is that BJP has shown one track record over the nine years. Every party that they make an alliance with, they break that party and finish it off. Which is one reason why a lot of NDA allies in the past have broken ranks with the BJP because they know that the only goal of the BJP is to get into that state, defect, get defections from that party, break that party apart to make the BJP dominant itself. So these 38 parties don't mean anything on board because at the end of the day, the BJP is going to bring down the number to okay. zero and finish all these parties because at the end of the day, only thing that can exist for the BJP is BJP. They want the dictatorship. They don't want any other party to exist in this country. All right, Priyanka Kakkar, I want to bring you in. Lots of differences where it comes down where the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned. What's going to come off Delhi? What's going to come off Punjab? You're going to be facing off with the Congress. But having said that, you know, a, a, a government which calls itself a Qatar Imandar government who till now has called the Congress corrupt right now, practically in bed with the Congress in this alliance. Good evening, Preeti. Preeti, there are larger issues at stake right now, like the speakers before me mentioned. Uh, but I'd like to come to first answer Mr. Tom Vadakan's. Uh, he said that the inquiries are ongoing and no inquiry has closed. You know, perhaps this argument will hold water if the Vyapam scam is revived. Because today in the morning, they went and raided a TN minister of an allegation which, which pertains to the year 2007. So he might as well use those agencies and send them to the Madhya Pradesh government also. One is that. Secondly, there is this constant effort to run parallel governments through the lieutenant governor and the governor, which is, which is completely impairing the federal structure of the country, which is completely against the constitution of the country. There, is, there are blatant attempts to, for concentration of power. These are mu there are much bigger issues at stake that the country at this moment faces. There is the question of joblessness, a record, job, record high joblessness or say inflation, record high inflation. And nobody is addressing these issues. The government, the current government seems to be only interested in using these agencies to their advantage and breaking the federal structure. So this has to stop. Okay. This is the primary concern of all the parties which came together today. Look at the other side. Of the 38 which are meeting, 32 are the ones which have no MLA or MP. Of the six remaining, there is one Akali Dal which clearly in 2020 said that NDA is in the habit of using its allies as stepanies and spare tires. That is their that that was their word. Then they are relying on OP Rajbarji who has called a PM what not. Then there are relying on Chirag Paswan who is a dynast as one thing. Secondly, he is in a position to bargain with the NDA and say give me six seats. So this is the situation. But Priyanka Kakkar, other side. you know, one can the understand with other political must parties. Also be discussed while right, no, no, no. I want to ask you that question again. You know, this can be put forth of other political parties because they are political parties. As per your own tenet, you're not a political party. You are a party with a difference. You are a party which is a Qatar Imandar party. You're a party which till now has criticized uh, the Congress for its corruption. You are today standing with the likes of convicted political leaders like the RJD, Lalu Yadav, you are standing with the likes of an Akhilesh who all have been charged with corruption, sir, madam. So, you know, what happens to the party of the difference, Aam Aadmi parties? Are now, those not issues anymore for the Aam Aadmi party? Is corruption not an issue anymore? Preeti, of course it is. And Preeti, we are a political party. I don't know why you said we, we are not a political party. Of course, we you are calling, You party. always call yourself that we are a political party. We are a people's party. Uh, That's what you've called yourself in all your rallies. Well, we are a political party. We yeah, are a political yes. party. Oh, okay. Well, we are All right. I'm glad party. you accept that. Okay. Elections. There is no denying that we are a national party. Yes. So, uh, th that stays. But right now, the... The line between what is right and what is wrong when it comes to corruption charges has been blurred so much when you look at the okay. ED's conviction rate or you look at CBI's conviction rate or you look at the fact that the ED director got an extension, three illegal unconstitutional extensions. So those questions remain unanswered. And right now the lines have blurred. Now you see, they okay. called Ajit Pawar very blatantly they called him corrupt and said that he did a good all of 70,000 crores and now he is the finance minister in the government. Uh -huh. So this is uh, this is the way to clean corruption in the NDA. Okay. These one has to stand up to the Okay, are they, all right, okay. 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 Right now the need of the R is to stand together against a government which as uh, most of you suggest are 
uh, is a, a tyrant of sorts. But Adil Singh Bopra, I want to bring you back into this conversation. What from here on? Because you're going to meet in Maharashtra. You have key differences which still needs to be, need to be ironed out. You know, Pridhi, uh, the vibrancy of our democracy, and this is the beauty of our country, that parties and individuals with different point of view can come under a single umbrella to oppose a political party, a political formation, which is determined to destroy every ideal on which our republic stands. I think that's the beauty and that's the key takeaway from today's meeting. But coming to your question, please understand the way forward is we've agreed. We've agreed on issues which are burning in this country. Adil, have the Congress somewhere down the line agreed to be the junior partner in states where regional satraps are stronger? Preeti, the likes of West Bengal represent... Senior, Fulcrum, junior, senior, fulcrum, pivot, centrist. Please understand, these are, these are all good sound bites, these are good phraseology. But today we're at a critical point. We're at a critical point. We're at a crossroad of sorts. Where our democracy is in peril, where our constitution is in peril. If right-thinking individuals do not come together, we are going down the path of, of an autocracy. In any case, we've become an electoral autocracy today, where there is no participation, where there is no exchange of views. It's okay. a top-down approach. So therefore, what is at stake is far more. And as far as who comes, who comes together, who leads the alliance, all these are formations and formulations which will be decided on the way forward. That is not important. Let me again reiterate, individuals or personalities don't matter. It's issues which matter. Okay, it's Tom Wadakan, do you at least matter. accept India's that your party matter. is a tad bit rattled with what has gone down? Otherwise, what would explain you holding a parallel conclave on the same day that uh, the now the newly coined uh, India is host, uh, was hosting in Bangalore? You know, what made the Prime Minister launch one of the fiercest attacks on a united opposition this morning? Clearly, you know, they seem to have ruffled a few feathers. Preeti, we are a political party and would take note of other developments. And the dynamics of it is that we have formed, we have got out our act together. And this is not about being rattled. In politics, you have to measure every step. And we have shown it at every election that we have wiped out the Congress. Now, I was hearing the Congress spokesperson. He sounded like a political science professor who was giving us a big take on what the takeaways were. But the only takeaway I understand is that they have got an abbreviation called India. Now, what I don't know is why there is a dot that is a full stop after I after N, there's a full stop, D, there's a full stop, I, there's a full stop, A. My question is, is this part of the mindset of the Tukde Tukde gang that has overtaken this whole gang? One second, okay, and one second, one second. Uh, Tom Wadakan, there's no I'm full stop. I'll, I'll just cross check, okay? As far as what we have been given to understand in the joint statement, there is no full stop, it's India. It's I N D I A. That's what it is. No, there is a full stop after I N D A. No, 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 and, no, no and sir. And the rule, and the grammar rule is, if you have an abbreviation, you put a final full stop and a comma. Now so I don't know whether okay. they are aware you know, of this grammar, into, but to okay, me, we can get into etymology and uh, grammar a tad bit later. Gang, but in terms of seriously. the political, the political coinage of the name of the new alliance. It is India, sir, and there are no full stops, at least in the joint statement that has been issued. Sakhi Gokhe wanted to come in. I'll just come in. Sakhi Gokhe has been wanting to come in. Mr. Gokhe, you want to make a point? Your channel has shown it. I've learned it from there. No, sir. No, no, no. It's not there. So there are no full stops. That's what how any channel is allowed to interpret it as whatever need be. But yes, Mr. Gokhe, make your point. Let me clarify when you say it up. Mr. Vadakan probably doesn't read the newspaper because two and, years ago uh, filed an RTF for the Home Minister to asking about this Tukre country Tukre needs to be aware. It's called the Tukre Tukre Gang. So using all these terminologies is a sign of frustration. And let me sum up what India means in one sentence. Today, we see people saying, oh, is the food better in Delhi or food better in Bombay? Kolkata will fight with Hyderabad or who has the better biryani. But when India is under threat, all of these cities and states will get together. So yes, we might have our own differences and we might argue or have a difference of opinion, 
But when okay. the country is attacked, they beat the Congress, beat the AAP, beat the TMC, beat the NCP, beat the Shiv Sena, DMK, Samajwadi Party, Ajiri, we will all get together. We might, we might, we might have a difference over who has better biryani, but when India's integrity is under attack, all of us get together to fight against the threat to India's democracy, which is the BJP and Mr. Modi government right now. All right, okay, Adil Singh Bopra, the charge is also which is being laid that it's all in self-interest. You're trying to protect, uh, uh, you know, yourselves, in turn, each other, because now the agencies are coming down hard and corruption is being exposed. Well, BT, just last week, the Supreme Court, which is the bulwark of our constitution, has said that the government of India was passing illegal orders and violating specific mandates when it comes to the ED director where and and i think it's common it's common ground that the enforcement directorate today has become a hound dog for the bharatiya janata party so let's say the better about the agencies and the misuse of agencies i think that every ordinary citizen can see and separate the wheat from the chaff but to respond to to the bjp spokesperson we don't need lessons of patriotism from uh, the bharatiya janata party we belong to a party where our leadership has shed its blood for the integrity of this country. Until a few years back, even Mr. Vadakan, okay. let me not remind him that Indira Ji, Rajiv Ji, Sadar Bayan Singh, Mr. V.C. Shukla and a host of other leaders have sacrificed their lives. Okay. For the he wants to make a point and then I want country. to cut across to Priyanka Kakkar. Priyanka Kakkar, I want to quickly bring you in. Uh, the fact that the Congress right before in a gesture of goodwill, before the meeting came out, extended support on the ordinance uh, where the Aam Admi Party is concerned, when it comes down to seat sharing, because that is where the true test of this alliance will come down, where each individual party is concerned. Is the Aam Admi Party willing to give in states like uh, Punjab in Delhi? Preeti, these are questions left for the next meeting. It was announced very clearly today, so we'll have to wait until then. But yes, I'd like to tell the BJP, since he was questioning India with the full stops and took it, took, called it Tukude Tukude Gang, I think he has an objection to the idea of India and he should leave for Pakistan now. All right, okay, now that's a, well, uh, you know, let's not get into these rhetorics of leaving for Pakistan and I all need, of that. But I need a bottle okay. of water to drink, which I'll your chief minister is not providing. I need a bottle of water to drink because every Delhiite has a right for a so glass you are, of water. So you are incorrect. Pure, All the three water, water treatment and plants are up and running. And that is not provided by your chief minister. So you have just then been a part by providing okay. wrong information. Okay, no, right. I need a glass of sir, water, my dear. Okay. 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 All right, sir. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to end the show. Hopefully, all of us get a get a glass of water because uh, you know these heated debates are going to continue in this election season. But uh, uh, it's been a big day where Indian politics is concerned. We have a new alliance, especially where the opposition is concerned. It's called India. It's going to be India versus the NDA. Right now, 26 of uh, India political parties there and 38 of the NDA all coming down and uh, to the numerical figure of uh, 2024. Well, that's the general elections next year.